In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can inject JSON-LD schema data for your embedded YouTube videos into your website. All the more coming up. Hey there and welcome back to another video of Measure School teaching you the tech tools and tactics of today's digital marketing world. Now my name is Julian and if you are new to the channel then consider subscribing down below because we'll bring you new videos just like this one but also marketing tech reviews, um, tutorials and more on this channel every week. Now today we want to talk about JSON-LD information that you can pull into your website so it's available for the Google bot to pick up. Now if you're familiar with SEO you might know about meta tags which were really important when it comes to providing additional information to the Google bot that can then be processed and put into the search results. So you might have seen this with reviews, the star reviews or breadcrumbs that you sometimes see on search results. And there's also a search result for videos. So I asked myself, how can I get into the video search results with my website measureschool.com. I didn't want to type out any meta tags and therefore I looked into the new format, the new micro format that Google also supports which is JSON-LD. Now JSON-LD is all about the JavaScript that you implement on your page which Google bots can now pass as well. And with this new method we could actually deploy this information as well over Google Tag Manager. So I looked into it and found out that we would need to inject the right JSON-LD object onto our page in the right order and that it would be a lot of pain and a lot of work if you would do this manually. So I came up with a little workaround because we have that data already in the YouTube platform. So once we embed the YouTube video, we could actually pull it in from the YouTube API. And this is what I wanna show you today. Now we got lots to cover, so let's dive in. All right, today our journey starts in codepen.io. Now I made up a website here that actually just features two YouTube videos that we have right here. And we have Google Tag Manager installed, which we'll get to later. And this is the website, that's how it looks like. We have two videos installed. Now if you wanted to inject JSON-LD metadata into this website, what would this look like? Well, first of all, let's go over to the documentation of Google itself. And here we get some examples for JSON-LD data, how Google would like to see it in our website. And they have some specification for videos specifically. And here you can see all the attributes that they would like to have us in our JSON-LD object and how that would be marked up. Now, what would such an object look like? We can actually look at this example here and we get this JSON-LD object, which features all the information and is valid. So it gets recognized by this little structured data testing tool that you can check out as well. Now we would obviously need to customize this to the videos that we have on our page. So we could simply copy this, go back to CodeBand right here and look at this first video and say, okay, we'll inject our JSON-LD object here into the HTML directly and just customize it. So for example, the title here would be 10 Google Analytics Chrome extensions and so on. We could implement a description, a thumbnail, upload date, duration, and so on. So there's much more information that we could actually input here. And we would need to obviously do this two times because we have two videos on here. And once we are done, we could save this and then go back to our page here, reload that. Now we have that information available. Um, since this is the URL, we can just copy it, go back to our data testing tool, and go on new test here, enter the URL, run the test. And we see that Google has validated our information. So we have here the name that I've just implemented and all the other information that should be customized to this actual video. So this is the manual method of actually implementing JSON-LD data into the raw HTML here for this video. Now, obviously we would like to do this dynamically so we don't have to go through every video and customize the information here. So I thought to myself, well, the information is actually already at YouTube itself because we have the actual name of the video, the thumbnail, we have also the description, the published date and so on. All we need to do is pull it somehow from Google into our JSON-LD object. So I came up with a little script 
that you see right here. And this script will actually help us to dynamically get the data from the YouTube API and then transfer it into our JSON-LD object. Now this will actually be dynamically built so we can get rid of our object right here and just focus on our JavaScript here. Now in order to actually pull the data from an API, you would need to have an API key. For that to work, you need to go over to your developer console, now called Google Cloud Platform. And here you'll be able to create a new project, which I called YouTube LD here. We'll open this. And then you can go over right here to your APIs and services, and then go to enable APIs and services and look for the YouTube data API. So here we have all the different APIs. Now we wanna get public information from YouTube and therefore we will choose this data API. We'll click on this and we will get access to data like videos, playlists and channels. So let's enable this. Then we can go over here to create credentials and input here where we wanna be calling this from. This will be called from our JavaScript. So just from the web browser here, we only want to get public data that the API provides. Continue here and we'll get our API key. Now, this is really just a read only API. We are just accessing public information and therefore it's uncritical to actually use this API key but I would recommend so it doesn't get abused by somebody finding out your key to restrict this by domain. So down here you can say you only want to implement this on your website and you can enter the domain here such as measureschool.com and we put the star in so it only works on measureschool.com and not on any other website in case somebody uses my API key. Now I will leave this out for now because we actually will be using CodePen and so on to test this out. But you need to copy your API key and then we can go back to our code here and implement this right here. And now our code gets access to the API and can pull dynamically the information in here. Now what the script does is it looks for the iframe that embeds a video, takes the YouTube ID and then pulls the information and puts this all into a JSON-LD object and then injects this into our HTML. So once we save this, go back to our test site here. We should actually be able to see this as well in our HTML markup. I will open up the developer tools here and let's search for JSON-LD. Here we have our JSON-LD information and you can see it pulled information into the page dynamically from whatever we had saved in YouTube. And we should also be able to test this out. So copy this, let's go over to our data structure testing tool and run our test again. And now we see Google finds two video objects. And once we scroll down here, we see it pulled the name, the description and the thumbnail URLs, content URL and the embed URL. So this is all the information that we can get from YouTube directly into a JSON-LD format. All we need to do is implement this little script, which should work on regular embedded YouTube videos on your website. Now, if you use a plugin or something and the embed method changes, then it might be that this script doesn't work in your case. But obviously you can always customize it to your implementation. So all you need to do is implement such a JavaScript onto your page in order to get this JSON-LD information into the HTML and for Google to be able to read that information on your page. Now to make it truly dynamic, we can obviously implement this with Google Tag Manager as well. So let's copy this code and go over to Google Tag Manager here. We can go into our tags, create a new tag. This is our JSON the YouTube information and we'll choose our custom HTML tag. Now this needs to be surrounded by script tags. So put this in like this and we are good to go. So now we choose a trigger. I would recommend to actually fire this on DOM ready. So after the initial document object model has loaded, we'll configure it as the event DOM ready and we can fire this on all pages 
if you have YouTube information available, it will actually put it in. I actually have built a little variable that will check whether there is a YouTube video embedded. And if that turns true, then our script should fire. So let's save this. Let's save our tag and we can enter the preview and debug mode. Go back to our page here. Let's say we delete this, save this and go back to our page, reload it. And now we have our tag manager taking over for the tag deployment of the JSON LD YouTube schema. So this gets files on DOM ready and then gets injected into our HTML as well, right here. And once we test the website, we should be able to also validate our JSON LD. Whoops, this is not working because we actually need to publish a version first. So now that this is published, we can go ahead and do a new test. And we see our two video objects are now present on the page for Google to pick this up. Now, if you want to download our tag template for this implementation, then head over to measureschool.com slash YouTube schema and you'll get this tag and also the variable that I've mentioned that the text whether YouTube videos are present on the page. Now, obviously we have implemented this on a very controlled environment with two videos on here on a very plain HTML site. The question is, does this also work in a real life scenario? Well, I've actually tested it out. We have here on Measure School our little blog posts where we also just have an embedded video of YouTube and I didn't want to go through all the videos and actually implement this manually. So I wrote the script, put it into Google Tag Manager and really waited because once the information is actually available for Google, it doesn't mean that they will pick it up right away. Obviously the Google bot needs to come by and validate that information and then maybe it will show up in search results as well. But what I have seen in my search console is when you go under the structured data, you'll be able to see all the microformats that were detected. So we have here video objects that were detected and it actually works. This is dynamically implemented via Google Tag Manager and all that information is now available on this page. Now, once you have a video just like this, for example, we can take this and put this into Google itself. Let's see if we can find the result. So let's scroll down here. We have here our YouTube video. So this links to YouTube and other results, no. Yes, here on page three, we have our result from measureschool.com directly. So this works as expected and is a great time saver when deploying JSON-LD information for YouTube videos. All right, so there you have it. This is how we do this at Measure School. We just build this little script and then put it into Google Tag Manager and it pulls the information directly from YouTube and then transfers it into our JSON-LD object, which we then can offer the Google bot to pick up. And we had some results with this already. So it definitely works, maybe just for our case. So I'd love to hear from you. If you try out this method, um, does it work? Then leave a comment under the description below. Now, if you like this video and want to see more, then why not subscribe to our channel? And also, hopefully, you'll give us a thumbs up on this video so a lot more people can see it and it gets more discovered. Now, my name is Julian. Till next time.